All right. We should still be recording, so. We should be. I mean, turn it off, so. Uh, let's go around and do the stuff that we're supposed to do. The time has come for you to destroy Mephisto's soul stone. Take the stone to the Hellforge. How did you get here? Place it upon the forge and strike it soundly with the hammer. Only by doing this can you prevent Mephisto from manifesting in this world ever again. No, seriously, how did you get here? That, that's a serious question. Welcome to the Pandemonium Fortress. Only three quests. It is good this is Terriel. Mephisto's defeat is a great victory for the light. I knew that you would eventually find your way here. The Pandemonium Fortress is the last bastion of Heaven's power before the gates of the Burning Hells. This place has been hallowed by the blood of thousands of champions of the light, many of whom were mortal like yourself. Now, the final battle against the prime evil is draws near, and you must face it alone. Just another reason I hate that whole I Nephilim crap from the third game. Save for a few bits of wisdom. For this is the hour of mortal man's triumph. Your triumph. May the light protect you and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. Seriously, Diablo 3. Dark, tortured soul I'll, 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 I'll go let you finish, but Diablo 3 was one of the decentest sequels of all time. <laughs> and in ages past, he was my most trusted lieutenant. Yet, against my wishes, he led an ill-fated assault upon the fiery Hellforge itself. Despite his valor and strength, Iswal was captured by the prime evils and twisted by their perverse powers. They forced him to betray his own kind and give up Heaven's most guarded secrets. He became a corrupt shadow of his former self. A fallen angel, trusted neither by Heaven nor Hell. For his transgressions, Iswal's spirit was bound within the form of a terrible creature, which was summoned from the Abyss. His maddened spirit has resided within that tortured husk for many ages now. It seems to me that he has suffered long enough. I implore you, hero, find Iswal and release him from his cruel imprisonment. Put an end to his guilt and suffering. We down here? Thanks. Welcome back, Barani. I know what you're thinking. You're gonna ask, is is this heaven? Well, yes, it it actually quite physically is. So, um, anyways, uh, as I was saying, I have no qualms about Diablo three in terms of gameplay. It's fine, but the story is crap. I'm not buying that. Oh, oh, the heroes from the second and first game are Nephilim. No, they're random dudes who ascended. Above normal men, not by any kind of magical or powerful means, I mean, other than the magic that we cast. I mean, they just, they worked hard for it, and that's how they got here. She's awesome. He's awesome. Everyone here is awesome. These are the only NPCs that's leaving town. We'll talk to her first. She is basically the holy crap. 250% damage to undead? Oh. Oh, ho I'll we'll throw that in the chest. Anyways. She's a wizard person. Got new crossbows. And he! What do you need? This person. They are beautiful. Yoink! Boom! Four. Got any really good boots? Faster run and block. That makes these videos go by faster. What do you have? No, charge bolt. One to dexterity. <sighs> You're so hard to get rid of. I can't leave him. I can't leave these boots. Crowns, look at them. Those are some beautiful helmets. Come on! 
I need a new weapon badly. <laughs> Blue Paladin needs new weapon badly. How did my chest get here? Did Deckard haul it up here? Yeah, we don't need to hold on to that. Those there, we can sell those. I might just have to invest in a new weapon without the without the socket because I just need to be doing more damage directly. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to that poison because I really gotta start doing more damage on direct hits. I don't have the luxury of that option anymore. Not at this point. I, I gotta start doing things. I mean that is 76 poison damage or 75 poison damage over five seconds, but. I gotta start hurting more. I think we're gonna move on to. War Ooh, that's a nice warhammer. I think we're gonna move on to one of these. It's cheap, we'll buy it and we'll compare. Okay, I know I'm gonna do more damage on direct hit. No details. 100 to 176. I can't freaking leave this weapon. That poison damage is so good. Can you use this? I can't You're all about that. swords. Ugh. I need something sacred so bad. Alright, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. This is One on with Tacos, signing off. Bye-bye.